not looking at the uh, fracking, whether it was good or bad per se, uh, but whether the uh, our planning guidance on fracking was right uh, and whether local communities had any real say uh, and could uh, address the impact on their communities uh, through the planning system. Uh, we concluded, uh, as everyone has just said, uh, that the proposals on NSIP and uh, permitted development were totally wrong. They're completely contrary to the uh, localism agenda that the government set out on in the Localism Act, uh, where the then Secretary of State talked about uh, a groundbreaking shift in power to councils and communities. It appears that's gone into reverse in terms uh, of these uh, proposals. Uh, in, in coming out uh, against the proposal on permitted development, uh, the committee said um, that uh, the contentious nature of fracking has already been demonstrated by a number of speakers um, and, and the impact on local communities uh, should make, uh, allow them to be able to have a say in whether this type of development takes place. Uh, I, I think that's fundamental. Communities should not be excluded from that process. Indeed, it's very different, isn't it, not, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, from the uh, regulations on planning that the government brought in about onshore wind, uh, where, the, where, where the government's actually said uh, that in order for a proposal to go ahead, it has to be demonstrated that the planning impacts identified uh, by affected local communities have been fully addressed, and therefore the proposal has their backing. So onshore wind, the community can actually veto the proposals uh, on fracking, on exploratory uh, applications. Uh, they won't get any say at all. Uh, and we looked at the issue uh, of NSIP. You know, why? Why does the government want to do the changes? Why? Because the, the only answer we got was, well, probably uh, councils are delaying consideration of applications. We had lots of evidence that showed that wasn't true, that MSIP was not going to speed up the process at all. And indeed, we heard from Lancashire, uh, where there would be complaints about the process taking a long time, that regularly in the process of considering the applications, uh, and 22, uh, uh, Regulation 22 had to be used four times, and the consultation had to be paused and started again because of extra information which the uh, developer, the applicant, had to provide in response to questions from the public as part of the process. Not deliberate delay by the Council, but delay as part of the proper uh, consultation uh, and consideration. What I would say uh, to the, the, the Minister, he's new in this role since this consultation started. Uh, he never looked very comfortable when this, this matter is being discussed. I suspect he's coming to it with a, a new eye. Hopefully it is. Just listen to the, the weight of opinion across the House from his honourable friends as well as members on this side and just say, whatever the merits of fracking per se, just look at these two proposals and see that they are a road back from the localism and democratic agenda that we ought to be pursuing uh, and abandon them now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker.